Welcome to the DOJ Online Services Demonstration. What is the DOJ Online Services? The Department of Justice has developed an intuitive, easy-to-use web-based platform that provides a gateway to application submission and tracking of some of the services that are rendered by the Department of Justice. Some of these services could be a submission of a maintenance claim, a registration of a deceased estate, protection order and or a logging of a civil case against either an organization or an individual, essentially giving you the ability to create or submit an application in the comfort of your own home or your work, without having to go into a service point or a court to register those applications. In this demo, I will be demonstrating how you can easily register your profiles to start transacting with the online services. As mentioned, the online portal is a web-based solution, so you can access it using your browser similar to how you would access your email services or your social media platforms. Once you've entered the URL for the online services, you will be directed to the login page as displayed. If you have already registered, you can capture your registration details with your username and password you can click on the login button to be redirected onto the DOJ online platform landing page. But to do that you need to have registered first. How do you register? You register by simply clicking on register as a new user. On this screen, you will be prompted to capture some specific personal as well as contact information for the correspondence when transacting on the online portal. On your right-hand side, you will notice there is a red asterisk signifying the information is mandatory and requires to be captured before you are able to continue. You will be prompted to indicate if you have a passport or RSA identity. A passport selection will be for non-South African citizens or foreigners that do not have a RSA identity number. For South African citizens, you can easily click on the RSA identity number and then you will be prompted to capture your RSA identity number. Please note when you are capturing your RSA identity number, it needs to be a valid RSA identity number as per your ID book or ID smart card and the full names and surnames must match as registered with the Department of Home Affairs. This solution provides the facility to validate or verify the details captured against the Department of Home Affairs database. You can easily capture your title from the drop-down provided, enter your full names and surnames. You will then need to enter your cell phone number. Please note that you will need access to this cell phone because this is utilized as a verification before finalizing your registration process. If you do not have an email address, kindly uncheck the box for, do you have an email address, yes, slash no? You will then be prompted to capture a unique username that will be used when logging back onto the online portal. If you do have an email address, keep the checkbox checked and capture your email address. Your email address can either be your personal or work email address depending on how you want to transact. You will then be prompted to confirm your email address by capturing it again to ensure that those details are correct. For your password, the following applies. Must have at least one uppercase. At least one lowercase. At least one special character. And at least one numeric value. Create your password and confirm by capturing the same password again and finally clicking on register. This then will create your individual profile with all your information that was captured and will direct you to the home page of the online portal. You are then required to verify your email address. The online portal is a secured web application where all the details that you have captured need to be verified. There are two steps of verification. If you have created your profile with an email address, you will be prompted to verify that email address. You will get a notification that an email has been sent to your registered account. 
The second step is to verify your cell phone number by clicking on the Verify Cell Phone Number button. This will trigger a one-time PIN to your registered cell phone number where you will be prompted to enter the PIN. Enter the one-time PIN that you have received and click on Verify. A notification will be displayed confirming that your cell phone number has been verified. Kindly access your mailbox from your email service provider. You will find the email verification from DOJ Online. Please note that if you have not received your verification email, kindly check in your junk email or deleted items if your email has not been placed in one of these folders. Simply click on the Verify Email link and you will be redirected to the online services home or landing page with an email confirmation indicating that your email address was successfully verified. Upon successful verification of both email and cell phone number, click on Home on the left-hand menu bar where you will then be prompted to enter your residential address. Kindly note you will not transact until you have captured your residential address. Your residential address is utilized for your jurisdiction, especially when you are transacting as an individual. To do that, simply click on Verify Residential Address, where your profile detail screen which displays your personal information, your contact details that was captured during the registration process. To easily add your address information, click on Add Address. Select the address type, which in this case is the residential address. Address line 1 represents your street address. Address line 2 represents your suburb. Select your province and then city which is filtered based on the province that has been selected, and finally, your postal code. Click on the Add button, a notification will appear indicating that your address has been successfully created. You do have the ability to also edit by clicking on the Edit or Delete icon. You then click on Home, you will then notice that all of the verification details have disappeared, indicating that you are now ready to transact. To transact, simply click on the different services. That brings the demonstration to an end for the registration process on the DOJ Online website.